And what better way to kick off a big episode of DCTF Live uh, than to talk to one of the uh, one of the twelve FBS coaches in the state of Texas? Uh, he is back in the Lone Star State. We are so pleased to be joined by the new coach of the Texas State Bobcats, Everett Withers. Coach Withers, thank you so much for joining us. No problem, guys. Appreciate you having me. Uh, how has the first? How has the last month been like for you? Uh, it's been a little crazy, you know, when you're working at one school and you're, you're, uh, you know, recruiting and, and trying to sell that school and all of a sudden you, you know, get in a mix and end up taking a job somewhere else, you know, it gets, uh, gets kind of hairy, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of activity. You've bounced around in your career, uh, everywhere from the, the, the Southeast to, uh, uh, to Louisville, to Minnesota, North Carolina, all over the place. Uh, does Texas feel like home for you? Well, I, I will tell you this. Uh, my three years in Austin, uh, 98, 99, 2000, were three of the best years uh, in my uh, in my coaching career. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed the, the, the passionate fan, state of Texas. My, my family enjoyed it. My son was born in Austin. Uh, so, yeah, it uh, Austin feels a little bit more like home than a lot of other places. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And you mentioned in your press conference – uh, that, that you had a phone call with uh, the Texas State Athletic Director, Larry Tice. And after that call, you were convinced that Texas State was right for you. Uh, what happened in that phone call that, that did the convincing? Well, Greg, uh, I, I, really, I really believe that the phone call was Larry really uh, looking for someone to come in here and re-energize the program. Uh and, and it, it just brought back memories really from uh, two years previous when we took over a program at, at James Madison. Uh, James Madison was looking for the same thing. They were looking for energy and enthusiasm. And that's what I felt Larry's voice when we talked. And uh, somebody could come in here and instill a, a plan, uh, uh, recruiting, and uh, and go 100 miles an hour with your hair on fire. And, uh, out, you know, that's what we're about here. That's what we're about here. Go go really hard uh, with a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, and, and, and go try to win a bunch of games with good kids. You, you've now been in San Marcos uh, for a month. Uh, have you gotten a feel for, for the program? And, and if you were to issue a, a quote-unquote state of the program address, what would you say is, is the state of Texas State right now? I've been in San Marcos about a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> never, uh, never mind. About, about ten days. Uh, and for me to sit here and be really, really honest and give you a state of uh, the program, I can't do that right now. I know we got a lot of work to do. I know we got some kids here that are really looking forward to to uh, change and, and uh, a new direction, and 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 you know maybe somebody come in here and give them a plan to win. Uh, I know that's what these kids on campus are looking for. I know our student body is looking for excitement in the football program. Uh, so right now, you know, we're still evaluating a lot of things. There's a lot of things to evaluate. I know this. This is a a, a talent-rich uh, state. It's a talent-rich area. It's a gorgeous campus. Camp, I think the administration's uh, uh, got the right uh, plan on how to upgrade and, and continue to grow uh, Texas State football. So, you know, we're excited to go to work every day. I think that folks now, having gotten to know you in, in the, the Lone Star State, know that you've been a winner anywhere anywhere and everywhere that you've gone. But for, for folks who, who haven't watched a team coached by Everett Withers, what kind of what brand of football can we expect from Texas State? Well, you know, we expect to have an exciting brand of football. We want to be, you know, good on defense. We want to be, you know, a fly around, a physical defense uh, uh you know, force people to kick field goals, turn the ball over to our offense, uh, be an aggressive special teams uh, group uh, with a lot of guys on it that have a passion for being on special teams, and then be an offensive unit that scores a bunch of points, runs a bunch of plays, be high tempo, uh, and, and, and light up the scoreboard. You know, we talk about party in the end zone as a hashtag. That's what we want to do on offense, party in the end zone. Party in the end zone. I, I can get on board with that. Yeah. We're talking with Texas State head coach Everett Withers here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Coach, you do have some FBS coaching experience. You spent a year as the interim coach uh, at North Carolina. 
what did you gain? I know it was only a short tenure there, but what did you gain uh, from your time at North Carolina, especially as the head coach? Well, you know, when, you're, when you've been a coordinator for, for a long time, you kind of get, you know, locked in and, and boxed into your, you know, your side of the ball and your responsibilities as a coordinator and only the players that you deal with. When you're a head coach, man, you've got 120, 125 uh, young men that you're responsible for. And uh, you're responsible for every aspect of their life. I mean, that's the football aspect. That's the social aspect. That's the, uh, the academic aspect of it. So, uh, uh, you got a lot more things going on. I learned that probably in that uh, that nine or excuse me that uh, four or five month period that I was the interim head coach. Uh, but I felt like when I took that job on July the twenty eighth, uh, I was prepared for it. So uh, and hopefully that's the where I am right now. One of the challenges for any new coach. Uh at the FBS level or at any level, is filling out your coaching staff. Uh, what kind of strategy uh, do you employ in filling out your staff? Uh, I look for I look for people who uh, want to impact young people's lives, uh, not just as football coaches. Uh, I look for for young people uh, in in the coaching profession because I, I do believe in and uh hiring and, and, and somebody helped me start in this profession boy and I feel like I want to I want to pay it forward uh so I want to help some some young people that have aspirations and and uh goals in life in, in their lives to be head coaches one day you know I think one of the goals as a head coach is to to, uh, to uh, coach coaches and uh I want to be able to coach young coaches and and, and that aspect but I I do. I want to be around. I'll be. I want to be around kids. Uh, excuse me, coaches that uh, want to be mentors to kids. Want to grow kids on and off the field. Speaking of of kids, the the place you get that is obviously in recruiting. You mentioned the talent rich area here in, in the state of Texas. You don't have to go too far to to fill out a, an outstanding roster. What kind of players are you looking for to bring on campus at San Marcos? Uh, they got to love the game of football. Uh, you have to you have to absolutely love the game of football. This is, you know, it, it, it's a game. It is a game, but it, but it's 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 not a hobby. Uh, uh, so you got to absolutely love the game of football. You have to have a a desire to uh, to, to get better. Uh, Want to be coached really hard because we our coaches. You know, another thing I'll add to, to hiring coaches. I, I want to coach coaches that uh, be around coaches. Want to coach really hard. Uh, and, and again, in every aspect kid's life and a kid that's looking for that uh that, that, that's a sponge when it comes to coaching uh and, and a kid that wants to, wants to be an impact player on a football team uh, he's got to be wanting to be a part of a team that, that wins and uh and not be an individual but part of something special uh on a team that wins texas state is still in relative terms especially compared to a lot of the programs across the the state still a new kid in the FBS ranks. Do you view that as, as a challenge or an opportunity? Uh, I view it as both. Uh, it's a challenge, obviously, because when you when you step up in scholarship numbers and you're trying to grow a roster in the early stages, that's a, that's a challenge. Uh, uh, it's about getting the right mix of, of kids on your team uh, uh, and, 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 and from there develop kids and, and get them to play at a high level and and be successful, you know, uh, not just on the football field, but uh, in the classroom too. So it's a challenge, but it's a great opportunity, you know, to see something like that grow and get better. Uh, uh, our goal is to go try to win a Sun Belt championship, and, and that that's a challenge, but it's also an unbelievable opportunity for us. Coach, you had probably my favorite moment in a press conference in 2016 <laughs> earlier this year uh, when you, you said that you were going to have trophy kissing practice. Uh, you're going to practice kissing the trophy, and you you made it very clear that, that wasn't a joke. That you're actually going to do it. Uh, what can you tell us about trophy kissing practice? Well, that, there's an art, you know. <laughs> there's an art, and uh, you have to learn it because uh, you know if you know it, when when you have a championship trophy and there's you know forty, thirty some odd guys on a platform holding it, there's a lot of germs on it. So, uh, you have you have to understand that you have to kiss it a certain way so you don't get sick and that kind of stuff. So, 
uh, I think it's uh, it's it's an art, and uh, we'll teach our kids how to do it. We 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 got a long way to go before we get to that trophy for kids in practice. We 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 got a bunch of work to do, but. Uh, uh, we're headed in the right direction, I believe. There is no doubt about that. He is Everett Withers. He is the new coach of the Texas State Bobcats. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Uh, get to work, and, and good luck the rest of the way. I'm sure we'll be talking soon. Thanks, guys. Take care. Good day. There he goes, Everett Withers, the head coach of the Texas State Bobcats. I want to run through a wall. I want to run through a wall. And you know what? It's funny. He mentioned, you know, we talked about the trophy kissing practice, which, yes. again, it's just fabulous. It's a fantastic line. But he's exactly right. Oh, sure. That you don't want to be slobbering all over the trophy. No, no, no. You got to you no. do it right. And when they There's get there, and when they get there, and I'm, I, I've, I've said since the day they hired him yeah. that the one thing about Everett Withers. Winner. Winner. Yeah. He is a guy who wins. Cannot. Period. You, you can't, can't argue with the track you record. Can't, Just exactly. look at it. You can't stop him from winning. And so Texas State is on the the upswing. Yeah. Okay? I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, and it won't be long before they're they're going to have needed that trophy-kissing pro- yeah. practice. <laughs>